Opera has introduced the new Opera One browser to replace the current Opera browser. So, what makes it different? Opera has several powerful and feature-rich browsers that are solid alternatives to Chrome, Edge, and Firefox. Its browsers are often reliable, and you can easily set one up as your primary or backup browser. Opera is continually releasing new features for its browsers, including AI prompts and chat GPT and chat Sonic integrations, which it did in March 2023. However, Opera wants to start anew with the Opera One web browser. It's currently in early access but already promises better performance and UI enhancements to make Opera even more competitive. So, what is Opera One, and what's new with it? What is the Opera One web browser? Opera announced the release of the Opera One web browser in early access on April 25, 2023. This completely redesigned desktop browser will replace Opera for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux later in 2023. Opera One is totally different from Opera GX, Opera for Chromebook, Opera Mini, and Opera Crypto Browser. It adopts a modular design approach. According to Opera, Opera One delivers a liquid navigation experience and transforms the way you interact with your browser. While many users wonder if Opera One is yet another one of Opera's many different browsers, it is refreshing to note that it is not. So, what can the Opera One web browser do that the other Opera web browsers can't? What Opera One can do Opera One uses a multi-threaded compositor, revolutionizing its UI flow and performance. It is also the first Chromium-based browser to feature this technology. And by combining it with modular design, Opera One is transformed into a formidable browser. Opera One adapts to your needs and promotes relevant and key features to the foreground while relegating rarely used features to the background. This makes finding the features you usually use easier making web browsing more efficient. However, it can also make you forget. Rarely used features. The newly revamped browser will also easily integrate with powerful new AI-based features being developed by Opera in the future. But if you don't want to download and try the Opera One browser in early access, you can set up and use AI in Opera's current browser. The key feature of Opera One, Tab Islands apart from its modular design and multi-threaded compositor, the other main feature of the Opera One web browser is the Tab Islands feature. Essentially a tab grouping feature, Tab Islands helps you manage your Opera tabs more efficiently. Tab Islands are distinguishable by separate colors and clear borders. When you open a new tab, Tab Islands automatically groups it to other tabs with the same context. You can also create Tab Islands for open websites using the Control or Command button. You can add to an existing Tab Island via drag and drop or by pressing the plus button by the side of one. Tab Islands can also be moved about by dragging and dropping them in the desired location. Tab Islands is a hallmark of its commitment to making Opera features that make browsing efficient. Do more with Opera when the Opera One web browser has a bright future, given Opera's relentless commitment to continuous research and development across its browser line. With that, you should notice some UI and performance improvements with the Opera One web browser, especially in design, speed, and flow. What's more, you can improve how you manage your open tabs with Tab Islands. This is especially handy if you're struggling with too many tabs syndrome. As an adaptive and responsive browser, it will also help you use more of the features you use and less of the ones you don't. How to download and try the Opera One web browser in early access Opera has officially released a new browser. Opera One. Although the browser is far from ready, Opera says the new browser will eventually replace the company's flagship Opera browser for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux later in 2023. It's not clear whether Opera One will eventually become the flagship browser on mobile as well. According to the company, Opera One is a completely redesigned browser, re-engineered from the ground up based on modular design principles. The main benefit, Opera says, is the ability to surface functionality when needed. Tab Islands is one of the new features available in Opera One, thanks to the adoption of a modular design philosophy. As the name suggests, Tab Islands automatically groups your browser tabs based on their browsing context. For instance, tabs related to sports will fall under one Tab Island, while travel related tabs go under another, and so on. This will help you browse the internet more efficiently and is one of the ways to organize your browser's tabs. How to download and try the Opera One web browser. Although Opera One is still an early access developer build, you can try it now. 
Here's how, go to opera.com slash download and scroll down to the download beta and archived browsers section. Select Opera Developer and click the Download Now button adjacent to your desktop platform. Opera will download the installer. Double click on the installer and follow the instructions to install Opera 1 after the installation process. Opera 1 will open automatically. Take the Opera 1 web browser out for a spin. Opera 1 is the future flagship browser for Opera but is still not ready for public rollout. But if you fancy being an early adopter, you can download and try the new browser by following the steps above. However, be warned that because this is an early access developer preview, you might encounter issues and unoptimized features occasionally.